So, hey guys, welcome back. We're at the cabin build and we're working. We've got most of this front entry wall finished and we've just got to do the board that goes, meets the ceiling and we want to kind of get the ceiling done first before we put that board in. And we're working on this one, this big wall. And here's an overview. So far, we're getting ready to paint the loft. And then there's that wall. There's the entry wall. And then here is this big wall. And why we did not put windows in this wall. The reason why um, is because our future plans is to do an addition and put a doorway like in between where the living room and kitchen is. So we plan on putting, sorry, case sawing. <laughs> our time is limited here, so I have to kind of multitask. But what I was saying is we're going to put a doorway. This is future plans. This may be a year. This may be two years. But anyways, we didn't put windows on this side because this is hopefully going to be an addition. So that's why. But Keith did finish putting the insulation all the way up. And then once we get this big wall completed with the shiplap or the plywood, and we're gonna paint it white. So I'm hoping that's something we can do in the evenings after work. But yep, that's what it's looking like so far. We just have this back kitchen wall to complete and finish. We've got some more cabinets we need to bring up. So here's a view from the loft. I don't know if I've ever showed you all this. I love the high ceilings. Someone said, um, so I've had three questions that I've been asked quite a bit and why the high ceilings? It would be easier to heat with the lower ceilings. I agree with that, but we wanted it where it's not a huge space and it's an open space with the high ceilings. It makes it feel bigger. So, and that's also why I chose to do the loft up here white shiplap ceiling and walls and that's why i chose to do that big wall down there white shiplap to kind of open it up um another question was how much have you spent okay another question i have got quite a bit is um what is the foundation made of i'm going to take you out there and show you no it does not sit on a concrete pad if you've watched the previous um, videos when we first started building it, we didn't even have a road. It was eight months or more till we got the road built. We couldn't get quit equipment here. So Keith pretty much, what he didn't haul up on four-wheeler, he hauled, um, he packed. So um, it has, which I'll go show you right now in a minute. That way you'll know exactly what the foundation is. Another question is, um, 
So I did that one video of where we had spent 5,700, I don't remember exact number, but um, they said, so, but what is your total now? That is right at 13,000 for what you see. So and we have quite a bit more to go, but um, I hope that answers your all's questions. And I will take you outside, show you the foundation. So there's the foundation, concrete walk, anchors cemented in the ground. There's several of those. It's windy and rainy today, so more concrete walk. Treated four befores. More anchors. More anchors. There you go. That's what the foundation is. But I think that's it. I think that's all. But I hope you all enjoy the video. I hope you have a blessed day. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, next time we come back, hopefully this will be painted white. I'm excited to see what that looks like. But um, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you. And I hope you all have a blessed day.